Hello, good day. I'm Oliver from Oliver Hobby. Here that's the 1 to 14 scale from GX model E20. 1 to 14 scale small actuator. So let's see after you receive this one, how you operate it. So first power on the radio, yeah, put the battery power on. Then for the actuator rear side cover, magnetic secured, just pull open. Connect the 2S battery. Here that's the oil tank. So unscrew the screw, fill up with the needle around uh, maybe two minimum liter, a little bit half, more, more than half of the oil tank. Then you can start to operate it. So after radio power on, after battery connected, here that's the power switch. You can press the handle, power on. So this one, for the radio, it is fixed because the radio it is a special programming. And the inside mainboard receiver is a special combined together for it is a small space. So only can use the original radio and the receiver. So now it's ready for play. Let's do the basic function. And then I will show you each channel, how it is controlled. That's the digging. Rising. And also swing the arm. Left, right. Also can open more the valve for more speed. The blade. Controlled by screw. And rotation on the other side, the light and the, s s the sound, it is directly on yeah, after you power on. Support the chassis, then we can change the wideness for the track. Widen, narrow. Okay, pull back to narrow and changing back to blade control. Now let's go to the radio. So this one, there is a limit space, so it's not showing the actuator battery how much it is. So no signal, only showing the radio battery, not showing actuator battery. So unlock it, we go to function assign. Yeah, here we go to AUX channels, we will see. So now 1 to 4 it is fixed, but here not able to see. If you go back, slide into the right side, here you will see. So for rotation, that's channel 1. Left stick, left and right. Channel 2, that's the front arm. So left stick, forward, backward, mix control start the pump. Channel 3, that's the big arm, right stick, backward, forward, forward, lowering big arm. Channel 4, that's the bucket, right stick, left and right. Start from channel 5, we will need to see from uh, function auxiliary channels settings. Channel 5, that's directly, uh, sorry, that's VIA for the left track. Channel 6, that's VIB, right track. Channel 7, SWD, that's the swing the arm by SWD, swing to left, to right. And channel 8, that's the pump directly start. That's a lot of power, but normally do not, no need to start the pump directly. Yeah, only miss control for the pump, that's enough power. You see already lifting up itself, it's uh, 1.5 kg, 1.6 kg. Channel 9, that's SWC. So SWC is combined control with SWB. SWB forward, SWC will be for the, do the blade. Channel 10, that's SWB. If channel, uh, channel 10 SWB put backward, we will be widening the chassis, but it's a little power only need to support by itself. Rising the chassis, then you can have enough power 
to lift up the chassis. So now, if I widen it, it's not moving, not enough power. Rising the chassis, put down the, do the blade, then switching SWB to middle, then can widen the chassis. It's a screw driver, and uh, inside uh, it's not directly locked. Uh, the power screw can be slippery, so if you see, if I'm holding it, it's uh, slippery inside, it's uh, for the screw uh, protection and not broken it. So even inside, it's not broken, it's slippery inside. After widen, also slippery. So it's a little power enough to rise in it. And please understand, for the small cylinders, it is not 100% uh, oil seal. So you will see the big arm, it's dropping the chassis very slowly, but it's understandable, yeah, it's a very slowly dropping it. So not affect the operation smoothly. Pushing back, then SWB pushing forward for rising the dozer blade. You see the power, it is quite enough to rise in itself for digging. Have fun on table, sure, no problem. That's the power, it can lift up itself, yeah. Slowly operation, also you can speed up. And here we got one pair of connections, that's the electric quick connection. So future uh, already have the attachments here, yeah, just changing. Also now only originally standard, only two buckets. That's the widen buckets, pushing, pushing forward, unlock, lock, pushing, unlock. Release lock. That's the widen bucket. Here, that's narrow bucket. Pushing, switching over, lock it. That's all the radio settings. Actually, that's the turn channel all used. But if you go to endpoints, you will see each channel is different. So, channel 1, 50 50 for rotation. Channel 2 for small arm, 44, 70, different speed you can change in the endpoint to, to change in the speed, yeah. Channel 3, big arm, 60, 60. Channel 4, that's for bucket, 90, 35. Two track driver or 120%. Rotation, spinning around, backward. In channel 7, that is for S, uh, sorry, 7 we need to see again, which one it is, channel 7, the SWD, that is for swing left and right, now it is 70% open the valve, also you can increase more for more faster speed operation, channel 8 would be for the pump, yeah, 8, so if we go to end points, you will see how much is the 8 pump, so it is 90, 100% it is off. 20% means almost from a negative to positive 100, that's the full range, yeah. So now it is almost 60% of the power for the pump. So normally operation no need, directly start the pump. Only mix control, that's enough. And others are 100%. Also, the sub trim for each channel for the valve to be closed a little bit different here. And the valve, it is perfectly sealed inside a steel valve block, steel pump. Yeah, only here we will see the small cylinder size too small, so inside is a very soft O ring. Only this one for each cylinder, it is not holding exactly. It's only dropping very slowly, yeah, if you can see by eyes. So please understand, it's only the cylinder inside the O-ring seals, very slowly dropping it, not influence your operation. Thank you, that's all the settings and uh, the operation of this JX E20 small actuator. And in my unbox video, I already opened all the cover to show you inside what the parts they are 
how is the functioning. So thank you for watching. See you.